know, I like to tell the story about my love of the game of basketball. Growing up in West Philadelphia, every kid played basketball. I worked on my game because all I wanted to do in my life was make the team at West Catholic High School. And I was fortunate enough to make the team and fortunate again, the last time West Catholic won the Catholic League Championship was in 1959, my senior year. And from there, I was recruited by only one school in the city, which the school was called Philadelphia Textile. And the Bucky Harris was the head coach. And it was probably the greatest decision I ever made. Basketball allowed me to be on a team and to help that team win. And uh, I was a successful player because of my ability to shoot a basketball. It had nothing to do with my size or my strength, it was just my desire. My main thing with my players all the time is to talk to them about being a good player, yes, but also better than that, to be a good teammate. And the teams that I've had over the years that were better than the other teams are all teams where all the guys were good teammates. And when it works, we are successful. My third year as head coach, we won the national championship in 1970. We won 28 straight games. As a basketball coach, I consider myself a teacher. I'm a teacher of the game of basketball. And all of a sudden, I was dubbed the shot doctor a number of years ago, and it just kind of stuck. Probably because of all my time that I spent with a number of teams and guys in the NBA, like uh, Charles Barkley is the most famous. And I've run into countless players of all ages who have said to me, Coach, I saw you at Pocono camp one summer and you really changed my shot. And I, I never got a chance to thank you. My biggest inspiration in my life and my career has been and always will be my uncle, Edward, Edwin Gallagher, who took a family of four young boys who were going to be separated and he kept the family together and took care of us in West Philadelphia. And then after that, my college coach, Bucky Harris, who recruited me, took care of me while I was in school. And when I graduated, created a job for me that I've had since the day I graduated. This award with Pat's name on it. I met Pat at a, at a clinic, a coach's clinic in Philadelphia. I was a speaker and she was a speaker. And when I finished my lecture, Pat was there and she said to me, coach, you can really shoot the rock. So she was watching my demonstration. And I said, well, thank you very much, Coach. I really appreciate that. I can't wait to listen to your lecture. And her lecture was on zone offense. And I'll never forget it because I've incorporated a lot of her ideas into our zone offense to this day. I think there's always way more to uh, college experience than just going to class and studying. I would encourage anybody. I have a granddaughter who just graduated a couple years ago from LaSalle, and she played lacrosse at LaSalle. And it made her. She loved her, her time in college. And I think a lot of that was because of her being on the sport. You don't set out to inspire people. You set out to do your job, to treat the kids fairly, to take them as part of your family. That's what we call it. We end up every single practice and every single day with hands in the air, one, two, three, family. And that's the way we kind of look at our players. So we want to make sure that the, our guys come in and they graduate and get a job. And these are the things that inspire me to inspire them. Anybody on any level that coaches as successfully as Pat did, this award means so much to me because of the name that's on it, the Pat Summit Award. And I am really, really excited and honored to receive this award.